Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah, cool. Hey, Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Sorry, bud. That excuse does not hold water. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Uh, 
That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. See those hot tits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Just think about it. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey. Hey, back. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. 
Fliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive, in this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. This doesn't look kosher. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Sure, Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clownfishes. 
I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first name. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Soon it'll be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. keep these around. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. 
Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Rich kids can just up and take a vacation whenever they goddamn please, I guess. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. What's that about? Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot.
Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. first can I just take a second to say holy shit Alex we did it I mean can you believe it Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? No! Bad idea. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
holding something. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia! This is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <sighs> <sighs> I'm going. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then.
Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. <laughs>